Okay. Go, ahead. go ahead. I'm Nibby Nilsson. I play music in some of my songs I see in the movie. Okay. Uh, I'm Jan de Vrude. I scored the film and I also was the music supervisor. Okay. I'm Lars Rosing. I play uh, Malik in New York. My name is Otto Rosing. I am one of the two directors. I am, my name is Miki Sok and uh, I am the producer of New York. My name is Torben and I am uh, the other director and writer. Okay, so would one of the directors want to tell us what this movie is about? And what the, the premise of the movie is? Yeah, Torben. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, New York is a movie about this uh, guy in mid 30s who is being told that, uh, that he has a, a, an illness that's uh, uncurable. And um, and it's really about how he finds life, and uh, how he uh, he becomes more whole as a man. Uh, so it's an, it's a um, um, feel good movie about about that. You know, the film has a whole bunch of pop songs, well, indie rock songs. Mm -hmm. That's one part, and the other part is the original score. And there, the idea was to keep things really simple and minimalistic and down to earth, bulky like. As opposed to you know big shots of fjords and icebergs and huge romantic string movements because they kind of seem to be over the top. So we all sat around the kitchen table and there was banjos lying around and harps and trumpets and you know everybody banged on the wall. And uh, that was part of the score, just like homey, jammy music, except for it should be really understated because the whole story is kind of understated. And the pop songs we chose, or the, the, the vocal songs, they complemented us. So the lyrics are not really talking about the movie. They're also not really talking about other things. They're just there. And they were chosen to serve the overall mood of the film, not so much as, you know, comment individual sections of it. friends in Greenland that have produced music videos and short films. short films and TV programs but no one has had really uh, dared to enter a feature film production and, and we did so it's it's like a it's, it's all our friends it's our family and and then we had people coming on board uh, from different places mostly Denmark uh, helping us out uh, it was really really hard it was um, I mean, the production was four weeks, and, and I think everyone can can tell you that it was very, very hard, lo long hours, long days, and it was really hard. But it, I mean, in terms, of there there is no history of, of Greenlandic film before this. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, this is breaking the ice, uh, and uh, it's also because Greenland has always been looked upon from the outside. So there are films made in Greenland about the Inuits, uh, and uh, this time it's from inside out. From within. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And hopefully the story will show what we know and what we, how we live, how we live, actually, yeah. how we all live, except all me lives in Copenhagen, but we're from New <laughs> and, and, you know, that was really important for us, that it wasn't a, 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 a picture-perfect image of Greenland, Greenland uh, 